Hello my friends, David Haivri with you and this evening we are in Jerusalem's Gan Saker. So let's get right to it. Here you can see Gan Saker. Uh, we are on the northern part of uh, the park. Uh, in front of us you can see the sign, the yellow sign says Roller Hockey uh, Court. This is a roller hockey court. Okay, so this is a public institution uh, in the public park, in the Jerusalem Municipal Park, and it is uh, meant for roller hockey. Here is the entrance to the park. I don't see any rules regarding hours. Let's walk into the park and see if this sign here says something about the rules. Uh, this is a sign regarding safety rules, but it doesn't have hours rules. So, so far we see that it's open. There's another sign there on the other side. We'll walk over there and take a look. And as we are walking around, we'll see people who are walking, running, bicycle riding, This sign is the same, it's security, safety uh, rules. So if you're here and you need help figuring that out, you can contact me and I'll help you translate that. Now we are continuing on the walking path. This entire park has been refurbished, renovated, redone. Major work has been done by the municipality in the Sakir Park. Redoing all of the paths. You can see that the paths are accessible. I mean, you can easily bring someone on a wheelchair. Moms and dads can bring babies in baby carriages. I, I'm to understand that the red marking is for bicycles, skates, uh, scooters, whatever it might be. Because I figured that out because someone spid, spid, spud. Someone passed me very quickly on a motorized bicycle just before I started. Just before I started recording. Now we are facing to the east and beyond the park, we can see the Nachlaot neighborhood, the Lev Ha'ir, the heart of the city. We've done a little bit but not too much touring in the heart of the city in Gansaker, and we will hopefully do more there. These steps lead up to the roller park that we passed by. This lighted roof in front of me with the beams is actually a cafe. It's called uh, it's called Gan Sipur. That's a, a story in the park. The municipality of Jerusalem has been allocating some area in public parks for a zoning for a cafe restaurant. Like in, in each large park, it has allowed establishing a restaurant in the park. And there is some dispute uh, publicly regarding taking away from the parks and uh, allowing the establishment of a restaurant. Uh, but there are others who say that this is actually very convenient for people who want to visit in the park. And surely for uh, parents, for instance, who are bringing their kids to the playground. This is the brand new playground that has just been opened at the Saker Park. In one video, I'm not sure if it's here on my YouTube channel or if I posted it elsewhere. I was once in Zderot or Zderot in Israel city that borders with Gaza and there's a huge playground there. I was impressed that that's got to be the largest 
playground that I've seen in Israel. But if I'm not mistaken, I've heard that this brand new playground in Jerusalem's Gan Saker is the largest playground in Israel. Uh, you can feel free to uh, look that up and tell me what you find out. And here we see a, a sports team working out in the center of the park. There are also like food carts aside for the restaurant. There are These boxes to my right are garbage disposal. It's an underground system or an underground container. So beneath there's a large container where the garbage goes into and the municipality has a special truck with a crane that comes and lifts out this whole unit and empties out the garbage that's been collected here. So the garbage uh, doesn't take up space around us because all of the container is beneath us underground. This looks like fun for adults too. I think that big people can uh, get in these slides. Here are picnic benches. They're made of concrete. And in the center, the center area where all the grass is, people come to picnic here or to play ball or to work out. It's all open. It's in the center of Jerusalem. It's just west of the Nachlaot neighborhoods, the Lev Ha'ir, and just south of Machane Yehuda. These larger buildings in front of us are on Agrippas Street, which is near Machane Yehuda. And above us, be, behind the playground, is the um, Supreme Court, Israel's Supreme Court. Here, look at this lion in the playground. Looks like it's made of wood, a wooden lion. This area in the center, you see there's an opening here. This before the establishment of the State of Israel, or during Israel's War of Independence, while Jerusalem was under siege, this area was used to land airplanes that brought in support for the Jewish community and fighters in uh, Jerusalem, while the Jerusalem was under siege by the Jordanians. Here to our right, you can see public restrooms. Women on this side, also accessible. And a defibrillator for emergency. If a person has a heart attack, first aid uh, volunteers can come quickly and get the defibrillator from this box, which is placed here by Magen David Adom. There's drinking water, and you can wash. Notice at these sinks for drinking water, there are these these uh, cup, cups. Have you ever seen these cups before? They have two handles. They're meant for a ritual of washing, hand washing, in the Jewish tradition or the halakha, for washing your hands uh, before eating bread. 
And here's a playground for adults with the different systems for working out. And uh, we can see some people working out here. So this is like a open air gym uh, with a The weight machines in the open air gym are all based on uh, body weight and gravity. It's great to see all of these people who are working out and it makes me think that uh, I kind of envy them and I should also be working out more so I hope to get into a routine you can see the body weight uh, gym machines. There's another path. This is on the center or the west side of the park. You can see this paved path, but there's also a path all around the eastern side of the park. So you can run around or you can bicycle around and you can do one side or both sides or circle around. There are special bins here for disposing of coals for people who barbecue. So when they're finished with the barbecue, they're meant to come here and dump their coals in a spe special collection bin. This park that is called Gan Saker goes along a valley that is called Rafaim Valley, Emek Rafaim. Emek, no, Emek Rachavia. I'm sorry, this is called Emek Rachavia. And above us to the southeast is a neighborhood called Rachavia. So this whole area, Emek Rachavia, is all a zoned as green by the municipality. And this is a, a green area within the urban built-up area. Above us we have 
Machane Yehuda and Nachlaot and uh, Shari Chesed and further up Rachavia on this side and on the other side we have the government um, area the Kiryat HaMemshala the Knesset the High Court the Supreme Court of Israel and government ministry offices. Looks to me like these people are playing rugby. They are working out with a rugby ball. Maybe they're a rugby team. There's a difference between an American football and a British rugby ball. Rugby ball is is much uh, fa- fatter or rounder in the middle, and the American football is narrower and more pointy. And these guys seem to be playing f- frisbee. I think that there is an underpass here. 
that will allow us to cross right under the road instead of having to walk up and uh, wait for a traffic light we can cross under this underpass you see the road here the road here we're at an intersection one side of the intersection and and here we can walk through This is called the Urban Deco. This is Milton's Way bike path established by a request from Milton Gutsman. Gutsman. A devoted friend of Israel and an avid cyclist who generously touched many lives. Well, thank you, Milton, for this inspiration. It's a very beautiful park and a, a great honor that you inspired the city of Jerusalem to uh, build this park. Here we have, a, on the right side, bike paths that are marked to the right side of the right path is oh, forward that way and closer to us is this way. So we have part of the path for walkers or runners and part of the path for bicycles, scooters, skates so when people don't uh, run into each other
That in the distance is the Hebrew University. And in front of us is the Valley of the Cross Georgian Monastery. So as you can see, all of this area in the middle of the valley, aside from the monastery, which is pretty old, there's no other building here. It's all public park area, but we have building on either side to the left, to the right, and which is to the west. We have a, the university campus, the Hebrew University, and the National Library and some museums and up further up the hill is the Knesset and the Supreme Court and government offices, government ministry offices. See the historic structure of the Georgian Monastery. Which now, I'm not sure if it's run by the Georgians or by the Greek Orthodox. I think it's the Greek Orthodox. There was once a tree here.
Friends, we have come to the end of today's walk. If you are still here, then please do send me a message in the comments and let me know that you watched the entire video. I would love to hear from you. Be well and come back for more videos on my channel. Shalom.